Hi, I'm David Jacob, the Regional Science Coordinator at Putnam Northern Westchester BOCES and the Coordinator for the Science 21 program. Today I'm going to read a book from the Science 21 curriculum for Grade 1. The book is titled Ride the Waves, Sound and Light, written by David Jacob and illustrated by Tricia Herbold. This book is aligned to the New York State P-12 Science Learning Standards for Waves, Sound and Light, Grade 1. Ride the waves, sound and light. What do you think this book might be about? Hmm. Let's find out together. The foreword of this book was written by Captain Peter Vecchio. He is a professor at the State University of New York's Maritime College. As a ship captain, he uses sound and light to communicate over distances. In our book today, we have two students that are exploring sound and light. Let's find out more from their investigations. Sound and light are waves. Waves are energy that move from one place to another. Waves can travel over long distances. In this picture, you can see that there is a bell and sound waves that are coming from the bell. I wonder if we can see the sound waves in the other pictures that we've got. Some waves vibrate. Some waves illuminate. Illuminate means to light up. So in the top picture, you see a tuning fork vibrating left and right, and sound waves are coming out of it. In the bottom picture, we see waves of light coming from a flashlight to illuminate the student. Sound is made by vibrating objects. Every time you see something vibrating, it's making sounds. When you hear sounds, something's vibrating. In this case, we have the tuning fork, vibrating left and right, and waves of sound are coming out of it. Vibrations are quick movements, back and forth or up and down. Things that vibrate make sound. You can see this ruler is going up and down, and sound waves are coming from the ruler. When you talk, hum, and sing, you can feel vibrations in your throat. Have you ever tried that? I like to talk. I feel vibrations in my throat. <laughs> I can feel vibrations in my throat. I like to sing. I can feel vibrations in my throat. Have you ever tried that? When you make music, things vibrate. This student is playing a kazoo. You can see the sound waves coming from the kazoo. What is vibrating on this instrument that makes the noise we hear? Hmm. When you hear music, things vibrate. This student is playing a drum. What is vibrating on this instrument that makes the sound we hear? Hmm. When you hear music, things vibrate. This student is playing a harp, a stringed instrument. What is vibrating on this instrument that makes the sound we hear? When you hear music, things vibrate. This student is playing a xylophone. What is vibrating on this instrument that makes the sounds we hear? Now we're going to focus on light waves. Objects can only be seen when they are illuminated. Remember, illuminated is to be lit up. What is illuminating these objects? Can you see the waves of light? Where are the waves of light coming from? And what are they illuminating? Illumination is when light shines on an object and we can see it. The sunlight illuminates the Earth and the Moon. In Unit 2, we'll be learning more about the Sun, the Moon, and the stars. What do you see in this picture? I don't see much at all. Because there's no light, nothing is illuminated and you can't see it in this picture. In our Science 21 curriculum, you're going to be learning more about how that light works. You see an object only 
when light bounces off the object and into your eyes. If you see the sunlight is coming from the, the sun, it hits the flower, and then that sunlight bounces into the eyes of the student and she's able to see that flower. You can only see objects when light illuminates them. In an investigation in Science 21, you're gonna use a light box just like this student and do some exploration. I don't wanna tell you too much. Different materials change the way we see light. So sometimes all the light comes through it so we can see the baseball really clear. That's called transparent. Sometimes a material is not so easy to see everything. Only some of the light comes through. We call that translucent. The baseball in the middle, we're seeing the baseball, but some of it is not as clear. And then some objects block all of the light, and we call that opaque. And you can't see any of the light through it. What does that look like? How do these materials change the way we see the light? A transparent material, all the light waves go through it. In a translucent material, only some of the light waves go through the material. In an opaque material, none of the light waves go through. Light can change direction too. People communicate over long distances using light and sound. Sound and light help us learn and explore the world around us. Thank you very much for listening to today's book. And have a great day from Science 21.